Hello, Doomers and other Indiana Jones fans. This video has been a long time in the making. I have been sitting on all this stuff for months, resisting the temptation to release things piece by piece just because I know as one video would be much more impressive. So, in October of 2023, my wife wanted to spend her birthday in Europe visiting London and Paris. And of course, we did all the things that she wanted to do while in London, like have tea. I only asked that we do one thing. One thing that I wanted to do, and that was to visit the Swain store on Bond Street in London so I could go to Herbert Johnson and acquire an Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom fedora from the company that made them for the films. The holy grail of Indiana Jones costume pieces. So in October of 2023, we left LA and traveled to London. And while we were waiting for our room to be ready and we were on very little sleep, I was like, let's go kill some time and hit Swain right now. So this is the very first place we went to after pretty much getting off the plane. So as you can see, the Swain showroom is very tasteful and classy. You may be asking yourself, what is Swain? What does that have to do with Herbert Johnson? Swain acquired Herbert Johnson in 1996, so it's now part of that umbrella of stores. Swain has cinema legacy of its own, they designed the attache case that Sean Connery used in From Russia With Love. I am a huge James Bond fan. From Russia With Love is my favorite 007 movie. The salesperson did everything she could to try to get me to buy it, but I was already putting myself in the poorhouse buying the fedora. They have a nice Indiana Jones niche here in the corner where you can sit down and collect your thoughts after having a heart attack from paying for a fedora. After I tried on a few different sizes and found the one that worked for me, which is 60 centimeters, I put in my order. And once I did, I was told it was going to be about six months until I got the hat. I was totally fine with that because that seems to be the turnaround time for most hat makers. So after I made the purchase, we went on our way, had a great time in England and France, and returned home. And then came the long wait. Now, I should mention that the price I was given in the store in London included VAT, and I was having the hat shipped to me in the United States, and customers from the US don't need to pay the VAT, so I ended up contacting Swain after I had gotten home to get my bill adjusted from the, uh, the price that was listed in the store to the price that's available to people living in the US, which you can see if you go on the website. It'll know from your IP address where you are and it'll adjust the price accordingly. I went back and forth with Lester Jones on this who saw the $4.99 for him and I'm like, no, it's $4.14 because he's in the UK, I'm in the US, so we're seeing two different prices quoted. Just make sure if you're having the hat shipped to you in a country that doesn't have to pay the VAT, that you pay the right price. And Swain was great working that out with me. 2023 became 2024, and I didn't think twice about the fedora. I just knew it would come when it was going to come. But imagine my shock and surprise when I got an email in early January saying it had shipped. And then the DHL guy rang my doorbell. Okay, and here we are, 11 weeks later. It is now early January. Now comes time, the moment of truth. We've gone past the first layer. And look at that. Get this thing out of here. Okay, so we got the main box out, has the Herbert Johnson logo on it and a nice handle, future carrying case, storage for this hat. Let's get into the next layer. 
Okay, we got paperwork. Bill of sale. Certificate of Authenticity. What's this? Uh, a little story about Swain and Herbert Johnson. Thank you for purchasing a Herbert Johnson hat handcrafted bespoke for you in our workshop by our experienced hatters. To ensure the longevity of your hat, we recommend that you observe the care instructions and handling guidelines outlined below. And then they go on to tell you how to care for the hat. Which means don't like lose it in a temple where there's spikes coming down from the ceiling. And finally, wrapped in plastic, Styrofoam. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? We have the gold lining. I opted for IJ on the hat band. And then on the other side, we have the Herbert Johnson address. At the top, we have the Herbert Johnson logo. And now for the crowning moment. It's beautiful. It fits beautiful. It feels beautiful. It looks beautiful. Now I opted for 60 centimeters for this hat. That's the size that I always measure my head at. I know in the past with different hat makers, the 60 centimeters is runs a little small, but with others it's just right. I tried on the 60 centimeter hat at the store and it fit me fine. This one fits me fine also. And um, I have a little bit more hair right now than I did back then, so this is promising. I like it. So overall, I'm thrilled with the hat. It's beautiful and it's such a thrill to own a legacy piece of the costume. Something that can trace its lineage back to the original films from the 80s. I don't know how much I'm gonna wear this one out in public in, in my day-to-day -day adventures, seeing how it's such an expensive piece of hat wear, but I felt the same way about my vintage when I got it, and I did wear that out in public plenty of times, I'm sure after the initial uh, shock of having this one wears off, I'll be taking it out in public too, wearing it uh, with the rest of my Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom gear. Um, as far as the felt goes, it does feel a bit like my screen capped hat, not as silky smooth as the one I have from Advantage. The brim, not too stiff, not too flexible. It's just right there in the middle, so it'll maintain its shape well, I think. I love the flange going around in the back. And yeah, this is just a great, great hat. No surprise, of course. So that is all for this video. Thank you for following me on my journey to get the Herbert Johnson Temple of Doom fedora. And I wish you all much fortune and glory.